I'm showing everyone my eyebrows. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I just arrived in Fall River as today is the day where I am going to get my brows microbladed by Amy at Millennial Salon. She has a group of us girls coming in for an influencer program that she has going on. We're all going to get transformed and get our brows done and we're doing a fun uh, shoot afterwards, getting our pictures done for her website. I get to see my girl Selena. She's going to do all of our makeup. So I'm really excited. I'm going to show you how the process is gonna go, um, take you through my healing, all that kind of stuff. This is very new to me. I've never gotten my brows done, but I'm really excited. A little nervous, but excited. I'm about to head into salon. I'll take you guys with me. So here we go. not bad at all no and you're gonna be renumbed so you shouldn't even feel much after Does it hurt? No. Hello guys, I am back. This is the day after last night. We were kind of there a little bit late and by the time I got home, it was dark out. There was an unexpected snowstorm that happened. I didn't get a chance to record myself or right after I got it done on this camera. However, the whole time I was there, I took a lot of behind the scenes on my Instagram. So if you are interested in seeing exactly what they look like as soon as I was done, here, I'll just kind of put an example of what my Instagram page looks like and the highlight. is The very first highlight here is microblading. So just go to there. This video is more about the healing process and what exactly happens throughout the weeks after you get microbladed. The first couple of days, they get super dark. And then what happens is they lighten up and they actually get really light. And then after a couple of weeks, they kind of go back to like what their normal state should be. I have a touch up in January when I woke up this morning I just cleaned them with water and a q-tip and then put coconut oil on them I'm not supposed to sweat for two weeks which for me is gonna be really hard because obviously I want to go to the gym and go to my f45 classes and all that kind of stuff um, I'm just gonna be really careful stay away from the hit classes where I'm like drenched baby oh, I <laughs> I'm filming. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a while since I've been downstairs. I got nervous. <laughs> I'm showing everyone my eyebrows. They're almost as big as yours. Oh, uh, okay. Um, okay. Come on, honey. She can see with me. Oh. She knows where her hair does. It's with the food. Okay, where was I? Um, had a lot of people really concerned about this like little winged thing that's happening on the end of my brow. My brows in particular, the hair on them, they don't stick to my skin, which is something that I already knew. Some people's brows do that, others don't, mine do. So that is why you will see that the hair is kind of sticking up. These are a little bit more healed. I can start you paste again and push them down so you won't see this. So right now I kind of just have to do with it which i don't think is a big deal for anyone who's wondering i got a combination brow so i got um a little bit of tinting as well as the microblading if i can come really close i can show you you can see like the lines which i find look a little red right now and then inside of them is where 
the tinting Amy happen. is awesome at Millennial Salon. She is a perfectionist, which I think is super important when you're dealing with something like eyebrows because you obviously want them both to be symmetrical and match. My eyebrows in particular were not symmetrical, so she did have to work a little bit more on mine. And I'm really excited just to show you guys how they turn out and eager to see how much I love them. I think that's it for now. Stay tuned because I will be back to show you how they heal. Hi guys, welcome back. So it has been two full weeks since I got my eyebrows microbladed. What they look like now. So definitely a lot lighter than what you would have seen them last time, but still has the shape to them. I found the healing process was super easy going for me. I didn't really have any scabbing or flaking or anything like that like all the horror stories you hear i did not experience that at all basically just woke up every morning and every time they looked a bit lighter as the weeks went on the coconut oil on the q-tip wiping on the eyebrows i think is very key i did that every morning and night and that might have been why the healing process went so well for me being able to sweat was so hard and my only negative downfall about the whole process so if you can't go two weeks which for me it was really really hard maybe this isn't for you but if you can plan it around maybe holidays or something like that definitely worth it give you another close-up I personally really like them in the morning. It takes me less time to get ready because I already feel like my eyebrows are all done and I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to makeup and stuff anyways. So it's nice to have them all done for me. So I am going in my touch up. I'll let you guys know how that goes and show you what my eyebrows look like then. I didn't really wanna do um, every single day showing you guys because nothing really happened but if you want to see a little bit more um, details just like I said before go to my Instagram page under the highlight microblading you'll get a little bit more in detail about what that looked like all right guys see ya and I am back it has been nine full weeks now since I've had my eyebrows done so it is time for me to go in and get my touch-up which is scheduled for this morning so I am just about to head out this is what they look like now I have nothing on them um, or over them oh I am back I just got home from my mini touch-up I'll say the biggest um, difference that I noticed from when I first got them done to this mini touch-up was it did hurt not too much but before uh, I found it didn't hurt at all like I laid in the chair had no issues this time for about five minutes there was a bit of a stain so starting today, the healing process starts over again, but then I'm good for a whole year. So I have to go two weeks without sweating, no sun, minimal like shower, like you don't want to get them wet. I had a really positive healing process last time, so hopefully it will be the same. Um, and then they'll be beautiful and bold again, and I go back in a year to see Amy if I want to get them all done again. So this is what they look like now super happy with them again like i always would recommend amy thank you so much i know she did gift them to me but i would not have accepted um especially something like microblading that's a permanent tattoo i i would not have accepted it from just anyone but i always heard great things about um, millennial salon so i was actually really excited about this and excited to share with you guys so that it can hopefully help you anyways gonna head out I got I'm gonna take this one for a little walk. She has to make her appearance in every video because she's way cuter than I am. But I will be back in a couple weeks, gonna wrap this video up, tell you all the final details, show you what they look like um, in the end, and then I'm gonna post it. Bye guys. All right, I am back to wrap up this video, show you what my brows look like, all healed. I don't need to go back for another year. 
They are completely done. They look absolutely beautiful. I don't bother filling them in. The amount of time that I'm going to save in the morning is awesome. I'm super psyched about that. Even just being able to go to the gym and not having to put makeup on, but still looking like I have something done on my face is great. If you guys are interested in getting microblading done and want to go to the Millennial Salon, I do have a code for them, which will save you 20%. It is Hannah Brows. I will add it here and I will link everything in the bottom. So if you are interested, you can just follow that link. I'm going to wrap this video up. Thanks for staying and watching and experiencing this microblading journey with me. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, have a great day, guys.